Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we're going to go over the layout command and there's several ways you can do finish off your drawings. You can bring it into CAD or you can bring it into Illustrator or other programs that you can um, hatch or crochet or do line weights. In Rhino there's a command called layout and it kinda does the same thing but I don't use it that, use it that much but it is helpful for quick drawings. So if you type in layout and it'll, this window will pop up. The name, I'll just name it floor plan, landscape. And by default, it's 8.5 by 11, but you can change it to 17, 17 by 11, which is a tabloid. And you can actually print, select the printer. It can actually export to a PDF or whatever your printer you have. Then click OK. Oh, also that the initial detail count, I place that as 0, since we want to add in our own detail. Click OK. Once you click OK, the toolbar down here that, that siphons through perspective, top, front, right, and then the actual layout, which is the floor plan that we named it. So this this page. So if we add a detail in by right clicking on floor plan and then click on add detail, we just drag a rectangle across and then all our drawings will pop up here. So if we go back to top view and let's say we move all the drawings are for the floor plan upwards. In the floor plan, it also moves upward, up, upwards. So if you move anything in your actual Rhino model, the floor, the layout page will also move. Another way to do this is right-click on floor plan, click on Enable Detail, and then it'll ask to select the detail, which is this one. So now our detail is, our actual model is now into the layout. So now you can manipulate without going back to the top view. So I'm going to turn off my grid and from here we can move things around just like the top view and if you go to the top it's also moved. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enable page so it's now back to the layout page. Go back to top view and to create line weights I'm going to add a new layer. I'm just going to call it line 01 and I'm going to move this section of the floor plan to that layer. And for print width, if you click on default, you can actually print the select the width you want for the line. So, if I just pick 0.3, you're not going to see the actual change in the lines until you print it. So, I'm going to move this so it's on top of my floor plan. So now the two are on top of each other and the section is 0.3 print width and to actually know what the size of the the lines are I suggest you guys just make a a Rhino file with just the lines doing the layout and then print print that page out so you guys know which line of print width matches with what because 0.3 could be really big counting on the size of your drawing so we'll go back to floor plan and to scale this to the correct scale let's say if you want an eighth scale floor plan We'll click on floor plan, the top left corner, click on scale detail, select the detail we want to scale, and then the distance on the page, by default it's one, so it's fine. It will say one inch on the page equals how much distance in the model. So if you want an eighth inch scale, we'll just type in eight feet. So there's our our scale drawing. And to move it again, I'll just I'll just pick enable detail, pick the detail move the model around to there and then pick enable page so here's our floor plan we can also add in text by using the the text tool under dimensions or using the actual text command and text object so to to dimension things if I dimension it on the layout page it's going to say 2.75 inches or or feet I don't know I actually don't know what the dimensions are related to but to get to correct dimensions you would just dimension in the actual Rhino model so I'll say 22 feet so if you go back to floor plan it says 22 feet so that's the correct way to dimension things always do it in your model never do it on the page so if you want elevations now we can either right click on here and click new page layout or type layout again 
and this one will say elevations so a new page will pop up add detail and then we need to enable the detail and then we'll move it in we'll move this out of the way do not move your floor plan since your floor plan is in relationship to the the floor plan drawing so if I move these drawings you need to group this so your floor plan whatever it is will stay there because now the layout floor plan is connected to to this area so this will be the connection for elevations and then right click and enable page so now we want to scale this to the correct scale so we'll right click again and click on scale detail detail to scale one inch equals eight feet so now that's the scale so we go back to top view and we can move this around go back to elevations and it's moved around and we can also do the same thing adding in dimension lines and and other stuff that we need for our drawings you can also go in and change each line to a line weight that you specifically want just remember to put each line weight on its specific layer so when you guys print it'll look out it'll look the way you need it to look so for printing we go to file go to print this window will pop up make sure your print destination is to the printer you want or if you want to go to Adobe PDF remember to pick the right size so right now it's in letter we need to print one that goes to tabloid so we pick tabloid and it works so all you gotta do now is press print and it'll export to PDF or to the printer and that's how you use the layout command in Rhino and thanks for watching